What's up logical people, this is Amar back with another mind-blowing Amazon interview riddle. Alex, Bob and Chris got together to play badminton. It's a continuous round-robin tournament, so they played with the rule winner stays on, where the winner of each game continues to play against the person who rested out the previous game. Winner stays and so on. At the end of the day, they summarized the number of games each of them played. Alex played 8 games, Bob played 12 games, Chris played 14 games, Bob played the last 7 consecutive games. The problem is, who won the 4th game and against whom? Take a screenshot right now and share this tricky riddle with your friends. Before you pause the video, I'm very excited to announce about my new merchandise store of Logically Yours. You can buy these merchandise and impress your friends and family with this creative design. Link is in the description. Now pause the video and think logically. We would first need to calculate the total number of games played. Some of you may not know the trick to find it. So as I always suggest, start with a lower number. Consider Alex played against Bob. So from individual's perspective, Alex played one game, Bob played one game. Total number of individual games is equal to 2. So actual number of games played is simply total number of individual games divided by how many players can participate in a game. That's 2. We get 2 over 2 that's equal to 1. So overall just one game is played in this example. Now consider another example with a little higher number. Consider these games. Alex played with Bob and Alex won. Alex played the next game with Chris and Alex won. Alex then played the last game with Bob. So if there are 3 games overall, we should be able to get the same value 3 by using the number of games of these individuals. Alex played 3, Bob played 2, Chris played 1. Total number of individual games, that is 6, divided by how many players can be in a game, that's 2. We get 6 over 2, that's equal to 3. So overall, 3 games are played in this example. In our actual problem, we can apply the same logic. Total number of individual games, that is 34, divided by 2, that is the number of players in each game. And that's equal to 17. So overall, 17 games were played. Alex seems to have played very few games. That could give us a starting point to solve this problem. What would be the minimum number of games a player must play out of 17 games. To find this, we can simply consider that this player lost all the games he played. It's a round robin tournament, so a loser should rest for the next game and he would then play the alternate game. So if this perpetual loser started from game 1 and kept losing all the games till the last one, he would have played 9 games. And if this perpetual loser started from game 2 and lost all the games, then he would have played 8 games. It's given that Alex played only 8 games. So this could be the only possibility that Alex started playing from game 2 and lost all the games he played. So Alex played all even numbered games. From this picture, we can note that Alex lost the fourth game. So we got half of the answer to the main problem that the winner of the fourth game won against Alex. We have the green highlighted games as even numbered games and the remaining ones as odd numbered games. Since we know that Alex played all even numbered games, it's obvious that Bob and Chris played against each other 
in all odd numbered games when Alex was resting outside. Let's focus on Bob's details. So Bob played these 9 odd numbered games for sure. We also know that Bob played last 7 consecutive games. So Bob played these 3 even numbered games as well. 9 odd games plus 3 even games give the sum as 12. And that can be verified against the total number of games played by Bob. That is 12. This means that Chris played rest of the even numbered games. So Chris played 9 odd numbered games plus these 5 even numbered games resulting in a total of 14 games that can be verified against the given data. And here we get the answer to the problem. Who won the fourth game? So, Chris won the fourth game against Alex. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic puzzle every week. Till then, give a try to these amazing Google interview riddles. Also check out Brain Twisters on my channel, Logically Yours.